Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lehman. So I want to say another, once again, I want to say happy, happy new year to everyone out there. And I want to say, I hope you guys had a great new year and I hope you guys are keeping up with your new year's resolution. I wish some of my new year resolution is starting to come true. Oh, there's a comb. I'm sorry. And uh, so I ended up getting a doll that I wanted for uh, ever since I saw her last year. So I, what I wanted to, what, so I'm going to, but before I do, I'm going to tell you guys a story. So yesterday, uh, yesterday I was waiting for a gift to, to come in by UPS. So the guy around about 6.45 at night, I get a text saying, oh my God, we didn't deliver it or something like that because they couldn't get into the thing. And I'm like, what? And so I know for a fact that this guy never showed up here. So I'm like, yeah, the door code ain't got nothing to do. I was like, if he would have pulled up, the the um, the um security guard downstairs would have let him in. Because I was down there at 5 o'clock, and I got tired, and I had went back upstairs because I got thirsty. And he never showed up. So luckily, I am lucky that they decided to re-deliver this morning because they couldn't. They said something about this package won't go to the access point. I'm like, yeah, I kind of figured it would. So I ended up coming. So it ended up finally getting here just a few hours ago. And uh, the doll that I I I I really wanted this doll, guys, and I'm so glad I finally got it. Now the only issue that I, because I know a lot of people were asking me questions as to if I was going to get the rainbow high dolls, and I was like, I don't know. The truth be known, the reason why I never bought the smaller rainbow high dolls is because I didn't have room for them, and I really didn't, and I still don't have room for them. So I never collected the rainbow high dolls because, number one, if I did, they would be so pretty. They would I want to keep them in box, and I have no room for them. So I opted not to get them, and I was, and I was kind of sad that I couldn't get them. But they were actually lovely dolls, and all of them were just disappearing out of the stores. And I do know they have them at my Target up here, um, and Walmart having sales on them all the time. And I used to see them online for like cheaper than what they were in the store, cause normally when I went to the store, they were like seventeen. They were they were like uh, twenty two to twenty three dollars. I was like, that's a little <coughs> expensive for me. But I understand the price point because of what they came with. So as it goes through the, um, as I go through the uh, uh, thing, I was like, uh, I'm not going to get them because I have no place for them. I got the smaller Monster High dolls, and I, right now they're in a box in my closet. And right now I don't feel like looking for them. So as the months go by, I then all of a sudden I hear about a 24-inch Amaya Rain. And I'm like, not her. I love that doll. I think she's beautiful. I, if I did get one of the Rainbow High dolls, her dolls would be the ones I want. Any doll with rainbow hair, I absolutely worship. There's an African-American one with braids and rainbow hair that I've seen. And I would love to get my hands on her. But she's, a, she's, a, she's small. So I was like, okay. And I already knew I liked the pink hair one and the blue hair one. And then I already had, like, the blue... I have the Poopsie Rainbow Surprise dolls, too. Because they're pretty much Rainbow High as well. So they actually are the Beagle version of Rainbow High. And I like the fact that those dolls came out and they're larger. So when I heard about the 24-inch Amaya Rain and I saw this doll, I was like, oh, yeah. So want her. There's no question about it. So... I decided to, I, I, I was checking her out on different websites when she first got ready to come out. And Amazon had her early. Most people don't even know that. Amazon actually had her early. And she was $123. And I was like, oh, no. So I waited, and at one point, they actually sold out of her when she first was released on Amazon. Walmart got her days later, after her release date. So did Target. And they were selling her for eighty three dollars. I was like, mm, no. So as I kept going and kept going, and then the first of the year this month, I decided to check on Amazon to see if Amazon had some on sale. And lo and behold, they had all dropped them down to seventy four dollars. But in the end, 
when you add it up, you're still going to have to pay $80 for this dog. And that was kind of like the resting price for her, unless she was early released. So I was like, okay. So I did not try to get her during Christmas or the holidays. So I went on to Amazon, and I started looking at the price point, and all of a sudden, there were a couple on there, and they were like uh, 64 or 65 and the cheapest one, I think, was $65. No, actually, she was $63. And it was like, she, she the doll will be normal, but it'll come in a damaged box. And I'm so glad it did. And when I rang her up, it was $70 and all. So I was like, yes, I'll take her. So I ended up paying less than what she normally was priced. She, I'm not really worried about the box because I'm going to get rid of the box anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But other than that, I ended up getting her and I I, I just unboxed her and everything. So she's out of her full of box. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff she comes with. So the first thing I noticed is that she has her own. She kind of reminds me of the box dolls that you buy in the store for her for Rainbow High. She comes with hair clips, and which these hair clips feel like they're real. And she comes with the jewelry for you. Which is, I think, it's supposed to be like a necklace. Looks like a bracelet. Well, actually, two braces and a ring. So, I can't use these, but the hair clips are for her. As well as they're perfect size for another doll, other dolls, like my smart doll. So, I could use this right here. As well, I don't know about this plastic fake stuff, but this is like... Now, this was, this was cool if it was real, but it's no use to me. So, yeah. I might use it for something else, but I like the little dangly pieces. So, I might use those. What I might do is break these down and use another ring I can use. But I can use it as a necklace. The bracelet, I cannot. So I'm just going to find something to do with this bracelet. So it doesn't really matter. I really don't care what the heck it's for. But, yes. So when she comes with that, and that's for you. And then she also comes with her instruction booklet. And I'm going to show you what her box looked like that came to me. So I've already unboxed her. She does have a comb. And it's, like, right in the box. So, guys, if you have this doll and you did not find a comb, it's right here in the box. I just looked down and saw the box, the comb. It does tell you on the box what she comes with. So, this is her box. This is what her box looks like. And, yes, she is in there. I just took her off of her thing because I don't like to mess around with that thing. And it says she is... 40, she's 24 inches, 60 centimeters tall. So, and she, in other words, she's the same size as a smart doll. She should be same height as a smart doll. She's very heavy, guys. And you have the pictures of the girl that has rainbow high on the side. And also, if you click on, if you go to YouTube and type in the 24-inch rainbow high dolls, as well as the cartoons, you can watch the cartoons on YouTube. On the back of the box is a beautiful, gorgeous, giant drawing of her. And I want that, I want this drawing because I would love to have it like a, a, a photo up on my wall. And I'm going to try to save it because I want to cut this drawing out and keep it. And this right here tells you what's in the box. It's on the side. Now, my box, unfortunately, I cannot keep it because when I got it, it was already busted. It was busted here and at the top and the little sticker thingy. Here is missing and a lot of people have contemplated and this is real ribbon guys so I'm going to take that ribbon off and I can use that ribbon for something else so what do you guys say we get the doll out and we see what the doll is like and I like the handle too I'm gonna keep the handle as well the handle is a hard plastic but I think if you heat it up you can mold the plastic into what you want it to be so yeah so, we're going to take her out again. And I'm going to show you what this girl looks like up close and personal. And I'm going to tell you what I think of her. I absolutely think she is beautiful. And she is, guys. She is absolutely stunning. I am so glad I got my chance to get this girl at a good price. And if I ever find more, I will get her. Now, her articulation is amazing. This is, now I understand why her price point is what it is. 
She is articulated in her arms. Now, the beauty about the doll is the doll comes with very high-quality stuff. Her hair is beautiful. It does have product in there from the way they freeze it in a box, but luckily I'm going to just wash that out anyway. And she has a couple of kachinkas in the back of her head, and I'll get that out later. But her hair is so soft back here. It is very soft. So I am going to definitely wash this out and hold up every rubber band in her hair, and which I don't care for rubber bands being in my doll's hair. She does have a little product on this end, but not a lot. It's right up in here and stuff. So, uh, they people have telling people have told me when I watched the videos of unboxing, they were like saying just wash it out with cold water because I don't want to lose these beautiful waves in the back. And I'm gonna show you what she looks like. Her head is very full, very full. Now, there's rumors that I would not put it in like a ponytail or something, but yeah, I love her hair just like this. She is beautiful. She is a stunning girl. Gorgeous. I love the inset eyes. Oh, my God. This would be like crazy. To get another one of her, her lips are stunning. They're beautiful. I know a lot of people complain about her makeup, but mine look like the makeup is pretty good. I have no problem with her makeup. It's beautiful. It, she has rainbow eyeshadow on her eyes. And like I said, this is my first Rainbow High doll. So I don't really know what these dolls look like as a smaller doll. So I can't compare the smaller dolls to the larger one. But I absolutely love her. She's beautiful. Um, though a lot of people saying her eyelashes weren't right. But I, I don't see anything wrong with my doll. My doll is fine. And I guess uh, she does have a smudge on her face. But something tells me I can clean that off with a rag. Um, like I said, her right here... Her hair is very crunchy and twisted, and her earrings do remove. You can take the earrings off. And the earrings are just uh, supposed to be like dangly earrings. Uh, I might remove those earrings and put new ones in, but we'll see. Now, the clothes are high quality, guys. These, these things are amazing. It's supposed to be, she's supposed to be wearing like a, a, a jacket or something. Uh, it, well, uh, more like a, a hoodie, more like it. The patterns on the clothes are beautiful. I love those rainbow stitching. Her skirt is a kind of like a, a, what do you call it, a woven skirt, but it's beautiful and it's made of real fabric. It's not plastic. And that's what I like. This is real metal, guys. Real metal. That is real. I love this. I will not be taking this off of her. Because somebody said something about it when you take it off, it is hard to get back on. So I'm going to let that stay on because it looks like it's stitched onto her jacket. Her purse are real as well. Her purse is beautifully and real. She has a bracelet on that belongs to her as well as a ring. And hold up, guys. Let me take this off here. Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. This is ridiculous. Dang. And I don't know why there's a rubber band on her hand. I guess it's to hold the bracelet on. But, yeah, this is amazing. This, this jacket, it's real blue bean jacket. Real. And uh, the, the jacket does have, like, this beautiful rainbow print, and it has rainbow high. The pockets on the dress are functional. Her hair is crazy long. I love it. These are functional pockets, guys. Functional. You can actually put your finger down in there. Yeah. And I love this skirt. It's cute. And I love her stockings. Her knee high. Her thigh high stockings. Her knee high. And uh, you'd have to put something on here to make them stop falling down. But I don't mind that. The coat and the shirt is separate, guys. You do... And then there's rumors that there should be a second shirt underneath. Yeah, there's a black shirt underneath. There's a black shirt underneath, and yes, it is separate. Uh, she does have a bust joint, as you guys can see. Her arms are double articulated. The only thing is her hands are not uh, double articulated somewhat. It has a joint that you can bend it down for, but 
the arm is made where it can't do it. So she's forever got her hands like this. But that's okay. I don't mind. She does have a thigh joint. Here. She has a thigh joint. And yeah, got rainbow panties. So, and the thigh joint does move. She has a leg joint and a knee joint. As well as an ankle joint. And her feet are forever in that... Uh, kind of like arch pose, but you can move her feet just a little. You can move her feet just a little. Ballet pose, normal pose, but her feet will never go flat. These are her shoes. Her rainbow high shoes. Love these. It has rainbow inside. These are so heavy duty, guys. Wow. Normally, they be like that fake plastic, but this is like hard, tough plastic. I love these shoes. Now, if uh, if you want to keep these on her foot from falling off, I suggest you get like a clear rubber band and wrap it around there, and that'll make them stay put permanently. Do I will not glue these. So dressing her will be awesome, and I'm gonna show you her knee joint, and there it is. So she has a what we call what well, what in in the ball jointed community we call a triple knee joint, and I'm going to bend her leg. I'm, I'm going to be here very careful. I'm going to show you how far her leg goes up. And that is the range of motion her knee has. So she has a she has the famous triple knee joint. She can stand. She actually have a better knee joint than the smart doll. Now you got to be good to have that, that class. As well as a lot of my, my three-point dolls like this. They actually have this knee joint. So she is worth, the, and most people will ask, is she worth the money that you would spend for her? From the way she's articulating, from the outfit that this doll is wearing, all the way up to the inset eyes, eyelashes, and the way she's looking, the answer is yes. She is a $80 doll because any $80 doll that you pay for off of AliExpress, you would basically get this quality. She's a very heavy set doll, beautiful doll. Her face is stunning. Guys, I absolutely love it. The hair quality is high quality. These dolls have always stuck with high quality hair, and they have the best hair out there when it comes to dolls. I absolutely love, 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 love this hair. Now, she does have a she does come with a purse. And the purse is functional, guys. It actually has a thing on it, and you can put stuff down in the purse. <laughs> Sorry, guys, she keeps sliding. You can put stuff down in the purse because there's that cardboard down in there and that. So, yeah, the purse is functional, very functional. Love it. And, yes, if you have a smart doll, you can use the purse for a smart doll. So, haha. -ha. So, yes, she is very much worth. Now, when you're doing her leg, I suggest you grab both ends of her leg and use your strength to bend it. But there's rumors that says if you heat up the leg, you can pretty much um, stop that um, hardness from, from switching it like that. But other than that, she is a beautiful doll. She is worth the little, the money, the little bit of money that I paid, which was $70. And uh, even though her box came to me in a bad way, I love the way she looks. As long as this doll came to it. So, yeah. Now, the hoodie hood is not functional. Y'all see how big this big old head is? There's no way a hoodie going to go on there unless you put a child hoodie on. You can redress this doll if you want to. But a lot of people kind of said taking her hair, taking her um her clothes off is hectic. But I was like, uh, honey, I have a smart doll. So if you don't have a smart doll and putting on, in, on and, and taking off clothes from a smart doll, if you ain't used to that, I promise you, you you're going to have a hard time. But yes, I absolutely love it. You can take these clothes off. You can separate them into their three parts as well as the skirt. She has painted on underwear, which is rainbow colored panties. I'm like, wow, rainbow color panties. I wish I could paint it. But other than that, this is a beautiful doll, and I absolutely love her. Okay, guys, it's getting late, and I'm going to say goodbye, and I will see you guys next time.